All right, so we made it. It is just after noon on June somethingth. I don't even know what it is. Uh, but we're getting ready to embark on our 43 mile trip around the Black Forest Loop. This is the Pine Creek that you see behind me. We're gonna be walking across that road back there and um, back into the woods. So I'll bring you along as we get started. Swing around here. Chris is back here getting ready, packing his stuff up, and um, we're going to be hitting the trail. We'll get some miles in today, find a nice camp, and I'll get some more shots as we're out messing around. All right, so we're, we're heading the right way, looks like. ascending our first climb. Just mere steps onto the trail. It's nice and shaded though. It was getting hot out in the sun. And uh, so we're gonna see what this has to offer. It's rated as difficult. All right, so we've started up on our counterclockwise journey. And I know the camera doesn't do much justice here, but it's up, up, up. You always think it's shorter than it is. <laughs> I always wish it was shorter than it is. We're uh, done climbing at this point for the time being. And that was, if you can tell by the shaking in my hand, that's involuntary. <laughs> oh, it's a hike. Uh, we're, the shade is excellent. You know, it's very welcome. And there's a nice breeze. But boy, that was a lot of ascending. There's a couple spots that you're like, oh, cool. I'm going to get to rest. And then it's like, nah. Turn the corner. Yeah. So we've got uh, maybe a couple miles of top of the ridge type hiking. So if we get some vistas, I'll get uh, I'll get us I'll get get you a view. It's two nineteen. We've been on trails for two hours, yeah. about. Yeah. And um, the weather report all week long. Today, tomorrow, sunny and nice. I don't know if my microphone picks that up, but I recognize that sound as thunder. And it is getting dark. There's a breeze. Did you hear something? Yeah, did you? Yeah, I guess someone talking or something? Yeah. But, um, yeah, anyways, we're gonna continue on to Francis Road. It's four miles away. How you? So we drop down off the ridge, we're about, I don't know, 600 feet further down in this ravine than we were when we started up on the ridge. So some of the shots you saw earlier after the rain. And uh, we're gonna start crossing this creek here, slippery rocks, so. And we're across safely. I've given this place five stars two thumbs up. Snack time. All right, so it's not supposed to rain at all, right? The whole time we're here. And we just got to camp and it's raining. Fortunately, we got our stuff set up I hunkered down here kind of on my knees i haven't cooked anything yet but um you gotta let this rain pass because it'll make for a miserable night i left my coat back at the car along with other dry clothes because it was supposed to be beautiful and it was like what 80 when we left 75 sunny hot and it's stormed twice since we've gotten here so all right so i'm cooking Hopefully, safely, under the tent here, or under the tarp. Sorry, the light's right there. Um, I don't feel any heat up there, so I think we're good. I got my hand up here higher. No heat, but it is under the tarp because it, it's raining. Like I mentioned a little bit ago, um, it's still light out if you're looking out over the opened area here, but it's certainly not light out 
when you look into the forest side, it doesn't seem like the camera is not doing it justice. Uh, but Chris and I are both cooking. I'm heating up my water. This is the second time it's rained today. And the weather forecast wasn't calling for rain any percentage for the next two nights. And um, we had a fire going. It's out. And we held out for a little while. Still smoking? All right. Well, maybe we can get her going again if this rain lets up. But so far, it doesn't uh, appear to be letting up. And I was going to have I did, my beef stroganoff. Oh, no. I have. Never mind. I have noodles and chicken. Imagine my surprise when I was uh, thinking that I was having beef stroganoff because I was upset and frustrated with this rain. And I thought I would treat myself to a meal that I wanted. And I picked the meal that I at least desire. All right, there's my chicken and noodles. I do have the option after adding my boiling water, which I just did, I have the option of restirring after four minutes. And in today's environment, climate, uh, weather, I may just exercise that option to store it, uh, to stir it again here in about four minutes. Otherwise, it's gonna take me about nine minutes to have my dinner ready. And that puts me right up at 8.40 two or so. The little Chinese knockoff stove that I bought on Amazon is doing well. Had my water boiling quite quick. I didn't time it. This is looking out my front porch in the rain. Did I mention it's raining? It's raining. I did. I exercised my right to stir it. It was unfortunately at six minutes, so I may have ruined the whole entire meal, but we'll find out. It's about time to eat. So that's my meal for this evening, and it's actually pretty good. Two cups of water, and it, I could probably stir it a little better, but you know what? I'm looking forward to it. It's warm, and although it's raining out, it's not cold. I have flip-flops on. You can see my breath, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's not cold. It's, it's comfortable. There's the look out my back door. Pretty nice, Jurassic Parkish. See a Velociraptor coming in here and eat me tonight. All right, I'm gonna eat and then uh, probably try to put some warmer clothes on and crawl up in the hammock. All right, it's morning number two and I'm gonna take you guys over and let you see our fire that never did any more than tease us because of the rain. Rained most of the evening. It was still wet at least around midnight, but it looks like the sun is out or in some some place because there's blue sky. And get you a better shot of where I slept. There's my tarp. I kept everything dry. I mean, everything's wet to the touch because it's just real moist out, but I've already lowered the cot down, or the hammock down. It was up real tight up underneath the V there, even with the wind and a little bit of rain. Did not get me wet, stayed dry. First time in a hammock. Um, it definitely needs to be adjusted because I slid down towards the far end down there all my feet or down there because I didn't have it set up level enough but uh, we get another chance of fixing that tonight and then if I don't get it right tonight I get another chance to fix it the next night so but I slept okay it's nine o'clock on day two and we are just underway just got back on the trail did a sweep of the campsite made sure we left nothing behind and uh, Kind of put everything back the way it was. I am happy to say the sun is shining, although we aren't direct recipients of its heat at this point because we're in the forest, as you can tell. So we found our found a campsite to do some breakfast at. We've been hiking, we've done about four miles. We found a little river crossing here.
and we're just set up up here. Gonna cook our breakfast. It's about 10 o'clock. Been on the trail for about an hour and have made excellent progress. So we're gonna give ourselves a, a little treat. Just heating up my oatmeal here. See how it comes out. It might take a little bit longer than I'd like and overflow the pot, but I'll have to live with that. Perfect. We're heading up. Up, 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 up. Let's see how it turns out. It's gonna be the first real hard work of the day. We got breakfast in. The sun's coming out. Feel a little drier. That'll change here in about 20 minutes. A straight ascent. We're almost to the top of the mountain that we just climbed. And it's warm out here in the sun. It feels good though. Still a little soggy. We've been walking through forest all day and or river, which it's excellent. Nothing wrong with it, but sunshine feels good for a moment. This is uh, the valley. We kind of came down or up from down at the bottom of that. I'd say what, 400, 500, 400 feet? Yeah. I'm sweating like a fat hiker. <laughs> we're gonna push on, we're almost at the top, maybe another 100 feet or so of ascent, and then we're on the ridge line for a while, so that'll be nice. There's actually a breeze coming right now, so maybe we can catch some up there if it's a little more open than all just for us, so. All right, so we just summited. You know, I use that term lightly because it might be a few feet higher up there in that green patch. That is a snake down there, and he's eyeballing me. Now, based on his look, I would say he is not hazardous because he is got a kind of a round snout, and his eyes are circular, from what I can tell. But he's got a weird marking around his neck, which leads me to believe that he's dangerous. But that's a baby, so I'm gonna leave him on his way, and we're gonna cruise on. All right, we found our campsite for the night. We're at 28.2 or something miles. Day two, I already got my pad down there, but we got a little fire pit. And there's some people down at the campsite down around the bend down there, this hollow, but it's not gonna cause us any problems. We got our tarps and stuff set up and it'll be sweet. What a fire won't do. Such a morale boost. It's taken us quite some time to get it going though. I don't know if it's coming through on the camera, but it is pouring rain and has been raining since at least five o'clock this morning, maybe 4.30ish. Yeah, I'd say that. Now this is where we camped last night. There's actually a creek over here. We had people down here on this site that you see there. There's a creek there. They kind of converge. And um, yeah, it's an awesome site. I mean, we're kind of on the side of a hill, as you can see here. There you go. Camp stoves are out. Getting ready for breakfast. All right, so we're getting ready to take off from base camp or camp site two. And as you can see, it's just pouring rain. So this is going to be short. Um, joys of hiking. We're going to take down the tarp. We're committed now. It's beautiful. But now we know why the guys last night that strolled in from this side smiled as they passed us because, well, we have to climb up this. We smiled back because they're climbing up something similar on the other side. But it was a good campsite down in the ravine. Now we're paying for it. All right, we made it to a crossroads. And uh, we're gonna continue on down our trail, which is that center one there. 
but we just did a pretty significant climb. Like a 1.75 mile climb all the way from the ravine to close to the top of the hill. We can still see upwards a little bit, but we'll get there soon enough. This was this was a little more aggressive. It was a good time though. Well, we just came down. Oh, let's see here. That ravine or that ridge. It was a drop and a half. It's about one o'clock, so it's time to eat. This is an awesome trail. You can hear the river behind me. Little creek. We've got water. Pretty good. It's a lot of work. Heading across the river. Our nice trail was ending. Well, it's all been a nice trail. I, I shouldn't have said that. That's not fair. The rocks are funny. They're like carpet. They're, they're, they're easy to walk on as long as you hit the green stuff. If there's no green stuff. It can be slick as snot. All right, it's the end of day three, and we've made the command decision to push onto the car. This is our final view, I'm th pretty sure, of the valley. Well, we've finished up the Black Forest Trail. This is Pine Hollow Creek behind me. It is going on nine o'clock. Maybe a little after 9 p.m. on Saturday. So we did it in two and a half days. And you can believe me, my feet are sore and my back hurts, my shoulder hurts. But it'll feel good to sit down. Alright, so we're treating our feet to a nice cold river bath. Oh. oh. My feet, Chris's feet, <laughs> my feet. They just, uh, they took a beating, there's no doubt. 